Hello everyone, it's John Benson back with day 20 of Persuade and Profit Live here on Facebook. And I've got a little bit of a frog in my voice today, so you'll have to bear with me. My voice starts going out. Uh, it's just one of those things that happens. But hey, we're back with day 20. And today we're talking about, again, the $50 million sales page blueprint that's actually found inside Email Copy Pro. I'm just dissecting it for you over the next five days so that you can use this for yourself and showing you how it's used and what went behind the thinking and how to make that, uh, how, how to make your next sales page much more persuasive and effective. So hopefully we get some people on here live with us today and everybody will join us and everybody's gonna have a lot of fun. So again, I'm John Benson and I am known as the Billion Dollar Copy Coach. And that's my moniker. So in case you want to follow me, that's awesome. And another thing that you can do, if you want to follow me, you can just type in join me into the chat. Just type in join me into the chat and that will put you into my messenger reminders for you guys. And also we've got this really kind of crazy bot campaign that we're about to release. It's kind of fun. So if I'm going to do something with a bot, I'm going to do something with a lot of personality, and a lot of coolness to it. So yeah, that's that's kind of cool. So if you aren't, uh, if you are already already uh, following me on Messenger, just type "join me" at any time, and you can do exactly that. You can join me. Hey, Michael. Hey, Dan. Hey, Bogan. Hey, Francis. What's going on, guys? Uh, welcome to. Uh, hey, uh, really appreciate you guys um, coming into the show again. And we're going to get started here in just a second. Um, just once again, I am John Benson. I'm the billion dollar copy coach as they call me. Uh, and that's simply because I have made a billion dollars with my clients. So that's me right there. <laughs> the button finally did work. And we're going to get into a couple of really cool things today. There's only two parts of the next section, only two parts. And the parts are lies and myths and the primary cause. That's what's called a negative hook. So we're going to dissect these one at a time and go into each one of them. And we're going to, <laughs> I'll say it's, beat up goes, I got your blue John message today. Yeah. Yeah. It's my, it's my alter ego. You know, he, he takes, he takes a lot more steroids than I do, but uh, it's still, it's pretty close. Dr. Manhattan. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Check this out. So awesome. I want to get into the training and share my screen so we can get into this stuff. And first of all, as usual, we're going to take over to, I'm going to keep the lies and myths down there because that's the first section we're going to do. I'm going to pop over to Email Copy Pro and once again remind you guys that this is coming out of the $50 million sales letter blueprint that's found inside Email Copy Pro. Get johnbinson.com forward slash email if you want that. Okay, so um, here's how this breaks out. We're going to go into uh, we're going to go into the sections again over at um, Pages Document. So don't worry about we're, we're going to go through a lot of sections here. I'm just going to scroll through it and show you what's going on here. That there's this much copy in the section, but it starts off with the whole thing we we ended with yesterday, which is we're talking positive, but now you got to run away from these three common lies and myths. And you want to come up with I like three. You can come up with seven. You can come up with two. Whatever. But three is really good. So three is the what we do in here, and we name the myths. Now, remember, if you go back to the whole thing with the primary cause, the primary solution, remember how we talked about trademarking? And we, if you go back to the very first two days, we talked about a, a, a something that I trademarked called a UIB, a unique identity brand. Hopefully you are remembering and you're going, yeah, we learned that. We're actually using unique identity brands. Those are just clever ways of saying something that somebody might already know and might not already know, but it's a name that you give something that you own. And if you'll remember correctly, and remember, I hope that you do remember that one of the things I asked you to name and give a UIB was false solutions. And guess what? That's right here. You can see this mistaken beliefs and false solutions. That's what we're talking about. We actually name these. So I name them because it just makes for better copy. So I talk about the three common lies. You have to slave away doing cardio day. It's a myth I call the fat snoring zone. Okay. Because this whole thing, are you falling victim to the fat storing zone? You know, have you bought into the lie of the fat storing zone? Okay, just, just that's actually not that uncommon to hear in the fitness world that people know there's a zone of, to burn fat that you know you're around in a certain cardio zone, but you're not sure what that means, and you're gonna be more prone to open that email, and it becomes very cool and very catchy for people to, to start noticing. Right? You can even run ads on that. This is just a bad idea. Here's the truth, and, and that's all this is. That's all I'm doing is creating a bad idea. And then I'm telling the truth here. And then I go down and do, do this over and over again. The forbidden foods myth. I go down and do it over and over again. So, but I, and get down to the very bottom of this. And it's the one universal truth. Do you remember when I talked about uh, yesterday? You want to believe one thing, one thing. You want your clients to be, it's one thing I'm going to give you, but also 
there's one thing that's holding you back. So there's two one things. There's one primary cause and there's one primary solution. That's it. The one thing holding you back from everything that's going wrong with you, and you can encapsulate this into everything. In other words, if there's five things that your customers need to do, like there's a five step thing, put it inside one thing. Okay. And say, here's the one thing is called the X principle. The one thing is called the X syndrome. The one thing is called the X whatever. <laughs> you know, it could be any, just name it something. And therefore it's yours. It's yours forever. And then you can say, okay, there are five components to the X something. You need to make sure you know, be aware of all five. You put them all five together, you get the X syndrome. You see how that works? So let's say that there were three things that were causing people to gain weight. Only three. I know there's more than that, but let's say there's only three. And said so that, okay, too many calories, too little exercise, and too much bad food. Okay, they're just listing three things off, right? I could put all three of those things into one name, one name. And I could call, in fact, people have done this for medical conditions. There was a, a, a years ago, they came out with something called Syndrome X. Sounds pretty scary, doesn't it? All Syndrome X was, was a combination of high blood pressure, high triglycerides, and a few other things. And they just put it all together into Syndrome X. Now it's called Metabolic Syndrome. There's an actual term called Metabolic Syndrome. It used to be called Syndrome X. It's the, guess what? The pharmaceutical companies did that because they were branding stuff. It, it's the same thing here. It's a disease that they just put all into one category, right? Well, I'm doing the same thing. In this case, I came up with something kind of cool. I came up with something called the boomer bug because I write to baby boomers. And there's a boomer bug going around. It's fat storing bacteria that builds up in your belly after the age of 40. Well, that's what's causing your weight gain, okay? That's the main problem because, check this out, and I'm not getting into diet stuff here. I'm just showing you an example of how I would write a sales letter. The boomer bug causes all of these hormonal problems causes you to crave foods. And by the way, all this is true, causes you to eat, overeat. So the reason that you're overeating, the reason you don't feel like moving, the reason that everything I just said is, is going on, you're, you're craving bad foods, is not because you're an evil, wicked, bad person, bad person. It's because you got the boomer bug. Well, guess what? I'm the guy with the answer to the boomer. boomer. All of a sudden, I'm it. I'm the first time they've ever heard this term, and I become it. And then I go on and on and talk about how serious it is, early warning signs of the boomer. So, so this is all written for me, by the way. I'm scrolling down here just to show you how much is written in this one section. So this is all the first the section yesterday was a lot longer, but we're going to dive into now the details inside each of these sections so I can get into all the stuff. So I'm, I wanted to give you the idea of what this looked like. Okay. So you start off with lies and myths, as we are right now, as you can probably see on the screen. Lies and myths. You got a ton of bad advice out there. Bad advice. I'm going to roll up here real quick and get to the very start. Ton of, in fact, I literally say a ton of bad advice when it comes to it. And then that's all you have to say. You got a ton of bad advice for starters, and you dive into it. Myth, fact, repeat. It's a rinse and repeat kind of thing. In fact, here's a couple of myths that you might have bought into. And I like to phrase it like if you bought into the fact that, that you should only email your list once a week, well, no wonder you're not making any money from email. You're only emailing them once a week. How often do you? email your best friends. How often do you talk to your best friends? It's just once a week, you know, and some people might go, I talk to them once a month, but you know, bottom line is if you send people little notes every throughout the week, even if it's, I like to email every day, but let's say it's three times a week, people will remember you. They remember you. And it doesn't matter to me if they unsubscribe because they're not going to buy anything anyway. I want to build raving fans and you don't build raving fans by emailing them once every three months. That doesn't work that way. So if you bought, if you fell into that, it's, it's then I could, what I would do is I would name that. I would call that something. I would call that, you know, like, you know, uh, list phobia. I could call you know, just come up with anything, right? Come up with any title for it. And then you just repeat the myths and facts. In other words, you just do this as a loop. And then it gets down to, you know what, of all this myth, there's one universal truth. One truth, a lot of lies out there, but there's one universal truth. There's one thing that you can take to the bank that's causing all of your problems, and it is, boom, primary cause. That's how you lead in the primary cause. This is what's really holding you back. Let's define the primary cause, which you just saw me do. And then I went, what you didn't see me do is I picture it like this. You want to use analogy. You want to use metaphor, and you want to paint really clear pictures. So I would say, you know, Picture this little bug as a terrorist. And I'll use something really visceral like that, like a terrorist. They infiltrate camps and they sneak around in the desert and they wear all the black stuff. And, you know, they're just bad guys, right? Well, they're like little bug terrorists inside your stomach. 
So I'm not painting a really visceral analogy for someone to get a hold of. It's, it's, so that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is just, just to explain it in, in, in layman's terms, right? I like to use the fun analogies and I like to use things that really trigger people, no pun intended with terrorism there, but that definitely will trigger somebody. Then I talk about the effects of this primary cause. The effects are really serious. They are really serious. Stuff like this, bad news, <laughs> this can happen. Then you, uh, whenever you see repeat, it's just like, and also this can happen. And also this can happen. And also this can happen. Well, look, I got a couple of tips for you to get over this. And this is right out of Accelerator. If you don't have Accelerator, uh, you need the VSL Fast Track if you don't have that. So ping us if you want the VSL Fast Track. But because that's the whole formula behind how to create these tips. Or you can have email copy pro that kind of triggers it for you. But the trigger and the tip, this is very important. It's very important. So this right here is what triggers the primary cause. You know, okay, the, the boomer bug, as I just used, didn't come out of nowhere. It didn't just fall out of the sky. There's some things that you might have done that triggered the response to this. So let me give you some tips on how not to trigger it. But you see what I'm doing here? I'm saying here's tips on how not to trigger the boomer bug, but they already got it. Now, I could give them... I could give them tips on how to overcome it too. That's fine. I do that all the time. So here's a few tips to overcome the boomer bug. And then I repeat this. So I could give three tips, 10 tips, one tip, whatever. Um, but more than one. You want to give more than one tip. So I'm going to give some tips on either what caused it and how to avoid it in the future or how to overcome it. Because I want to give value inside the letter. And it's good, but it's incomplete. And I actually, it's kind of weird because that's actually what marketers say. It's like when they give tips, okay, give good tips, give, but you give incomplete tips. I actually have that as a section inside, inside the deal. So I, I want to scroll down here and show you that. So I'm scrolling down my sales letter thing. So early warning signs, as you can see. Now, I say it right here. As helpful as these tips may be, they are not the ultimate solution. However, in order to convey the impact, the power this can bring to your life, I need to first let you in on the backstory. This is what, so what am I doing here? Do you know what I'm doing here? I leave this open for you guys so I can say, open loop. There you go. And then I go into my backstory. I got, that's what, we, then we transcend into the backstory. So I mentioned that, that first I got to let you know the backstory. This is what laid the foundation. And the backstory isn't my personal story. I've already done that. The backstory is just this by this, the introduction of the backstory here. Introduction. That was a typo on my part. All right, so this is the backstory introduction. So I'm just going to let you, and then I'm going to introduce it, and then I'm going to go along the way. So the backstory, which we'll get into tomorrow, is how I found this along my journey. It's not my, I used to be fat, I used to be obese. No, that's not the backstory. I've already done that. Let me tell you the backstory about how this came about, how I discovered the boomer bug. Because it was while I was studying all the stuff about weight loss that this first came along. And then I started with, I'm just a little teaser for tomorrow. It's an open loop for tomorrow. A tip I picked up along the journey changed my life forever. That's how I start that whole section. So I'm going along, going along, going along. And then somebody, some role model, some, some great guy I know, some expert I know, gave me a tip that changed my life forever and put me on the path to discover the boomer bug, which led me to discover the solution to the boomer bug, which is the only thing I got. Are you following me, folks? Are you seeing how cool this is? Now, I'm going to come back over to the uh, this over here. So we went through lies and myths. And the most important thing that you can do in this segment, your primary cause, your negative hook. What was the primary cause in my example? Someone type it in. What was the primary cause in my example? Primary cause in my example. First person gets it, gets a uh, brownie. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, you just get praise and accolades from me. So praise and accolades. So, and then I'll answer your question. And we are in a 30 second delay here. So I'm going to wait here. Who's the first person to get it? I said it a dozen times. Let's see if you can do it. <laughs> oh, Francis gets it. Francis gets around. Yes, that is so. So, you know, you're onto something when someone can remember what you said. I'm sure a lot of other people is going to chime in too. That is correct. That is the primary cause. This boomer bug, this bug that lives inside baby boomers guts. Helene said it. Awesome. So, uh, so this is Chris is great. So I'm going to go through, through the, the call. Uh, oh, sorry, guys, let me get, I'm getting you back on camera here. My bad, my bad. Now, I, I do want to say this again. If you don't have email copy pro, you are a naughty person. You really are. You're just naughty and you should go get it because this will 
be done mostly for you. I got to do is fill in those blanks, those green lines that you just saw. I'll do the rest of the hard work for you. On email, the, the sales page is a bonus. I just give you the whole template that you can use. It doesn't regenerate. It gives you the template and you can just modify the words as you need to. But man, what a massive head start it's going to be because it's, I charge 50 grand to write a sales letter just to let you know. So uh, there it is, johnbenson.com forward slash email, johnbenson.com forward slash email if you don't already have it. So uh, so everybody wrote down Boomerbug. That's awesome. So I'm going to answer some of the questions here. Um, I have to keep beating your words into my mind. It doesn't matter if to me if they unsubscribe. I want to build it. Yes, um, beat gently, but beat. <laughs> yeah, unsubscribes uh, people. Uh, this is the thing I've, I've done. With, I've really, really gone through the, the the ringer on this with a lot of email marketers and a lot of folks that when I talk about emailing every day or at least every other day, at least every other day. So email copy pro will help you email every other day. Easy, you know. Um, is the fact that people think that oh my gosh I got an I got an unsubscribe. You know, uh, my, my ex-wife, she's a real sweetheart, and, and she was like emailing to a to an all woman's list uh, for women's spirituality. And she's like, oh, no, I started emailing more and I had two unsubscribes. I'm like, oh, two unsubscribes. I long for the day for two unsubscribes. Well, th yeah, it's fine. That's totally fine. There, People are going to unsubscribe from you. I had people unsubscribe from my bot chat already. I think I had one, one, one person and it's totally fine. Oh, no, nothing. He, he, he probably just wanted to check it out and goes, oh, okay, I, I don't want to, I don't want to see it anymore or whatever. Or maybe he didn't like the big blue muscle guy. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I, no hard feelings. And I only want to provide value to people that want to hear me. So you're building a list of raving fans. I don't unsubscribe. Uh, Ryan Dice emails me every day. You know, so it's like I, every day, digital marketer emails me. I, I, if you're on digital marketers email list, you know that they email basically every day, sometimes two or three times a day. And they are a, well, they're going to be probably, I think they're going to be a billion dollar company, uh, but they're certainly in the hundreds of millions. So, I mean, come on guys. I'm, I'm not the only one saying, saying this, uh, you know, just tell them, just tell them. Okay. So I'm going to go through the questions here. Um, so everybody got the boomer bug. That's right. Um, uh, now pretty much they're, they're all retiring. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so Scott said, yep. Email frequently. If you made, uh, if you made a huge mistake, like Mike Dillard occasionally works, um, I don't know what you mean by that. If you made a huge, oh, oh, my mistake. I misread it. A huge impact like Mike Dillard occasionally works. Yeah, I completely agree. So Mike Dillard's a good friend of mine and uh, I, I was part of his self-made man series. So if you guys saw me on that, awesome. Um, but uh, Mike's a great guy and he emails tons of value. And But I will go a little further to the, the gray edges here. I know guys that email pretty much straight promotions with some content. And they still do okay. I, it's crazy. There was a uh, there was a survey done um, by was it Marketing Sherpa or Sarb? It was Sarb that did the survey, and they asked. This is no BS, by the way. They asked people if they wanted to get uh, how, how they felt about promotional emails from people they follow, and like thirty five percent said they wanted more. <laughs> like really? It's like thirty five percent of your list wants more promotional emails. Now, I can understand more content. A lot of people are saying 70 something percent saying more content. So what we do in email copy pro is we blend content with what I call the PS promo. Do you guys know what the PS promo is? It's, it's kind of common sense when you hear it, but you might not know all the nuances of it. Do you want me to go over the PS promo since we were able to cover that section so fast? Uh, I'm going to wait until, until you hear something. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to say that this is Leanne. Uh, hi, Leanne. Leanne works for us. Uh, the story formula about getting a tip from a serious stranger. John mentioned it also about uh, about a blackie story. I don't know what the blackie story. I don't know what that is. Hmm. First piece of West Virginia news was yeah, uh, blackie story. I don't know what you mean by blackie story. So, uh, are you referring to like a dark story? Or are you referring to is that is that a term that I don't know? It could be a term that I don't know. So somebody needs to let me in on that. Um, all right, cool. Uh, so, okay, I email twice a day, Billy, 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 Billy. They call it radio style. So, yes, absolutely, Billy, spot on, man. I'm proud of you, man. That's what you should be doing. Uh, tw twice a day and, and people love you or they don't. And, and you're probably emailing shorter emails. The average email that if you're going to send out that much, you want to stick around anywhere from 50 to 250 words, something like that. So you don't want to go into the long, uh, laborious stuff. But uh, I don't know what Blackie's story means, but I'm going to, I'm now I'm dying to find out. So someone's got to tell me. Um, uh, so, yeah, cool. So Billy's reaching out. Uh, okay, so you guys are having a you guys are having a thread conversation between yourselves. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm, I'm scrolling through it here. I'm looking back, making sure I've got everyone covered. Uh, and so for memory, 
Blackie story is Dan Kenny term. Uh, we get the secret from some. Oh, is that really? That's a. It uh, sounds really racist. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm not usually one to say this is a very racist thing to say. But it's like, oh, it's, I was thinking. You know, my mind was like, where are you going with that one? It's like, it's like a. Is that a brownie story? Well, oh, that that would sound like more like a something I'd like to eat. You know, like a, a dessert or something. But okay. So yeah. Okay. So let's talk about the the PS promo. Um, the PS promo is so simple. Okay. Again. At the end of your people scroll emails, even if they're short, and if they're not short, it doesn't matter. PS screams at your subconscious mind. PS is just, just screams at you. It's almost impossible not to read a PS. It's like the strategy I give people for direct mail. If you want to really crush it with direct mail, rather than emailing uh, mailing out ten thousand envelopes to people, mail out a thousand FedExes. <laughs> Same cost, one hundred percent open rate. It's one of the best tips I've ever learned. If you do direct mail, rather than 10,000, do 1,000 FedExes. <laughs> How many people do you know that don't open their FedExes? They get a FedEx, ah, oh, it's junk. No one, no one. You're just assuming that this is gonna be completely real and presto, you've got a 100% open rate. Same strategy with the PS. The PS, it gets you almost 100% eyeballs on your PS. So if you say PS, and I do it in a very, that's why I call it the PS promo technique. It's, it is a technique. It's not just, hey, go look at my website. I say things like, don't forget, or I actually say remember, because I don't forget it's actually a negative command. So remember, you know, <laughs> did you see, you know, did you, did you do what I told you to? And did you go check this out? You might want to go jump over here right now. So I do promos like that. And it's the promo to whatever VSL or page or whatever. And it's at the end of the content. It's not even blended into the content. Sometimes I blend it in. Sometimes I'll say so and so and so and so like email copy pro and I'll put a hyperlink underneath it. Said, oh, by the way, if you don't have it, you can get it here. And that's it. That's the entire promo inside of a content piece. But the PS doubles down on that. And then here's what I do for the PS on that one. Let's say that's in the second paragraph. What I do PS, I go reread the second paragraph, vitally important stuff. <laughs> take that, take that tip to the bank because we use it inside, of course, email copy pro because we're smart like this uh, PS promo. P.S. Reread that second paragraph and or whatever paragraph it is. And what are they going to do? You're going to get twice the read on that second paragraph. And that second paragraph is the one that has your promotional stuff into it. So it's pretty sweet. <laughs> I love that tip. So uh, Michael says that's brilliant. Yeah. That, yes, absolutely. Love it. Uh, it's something uh, that I tell everyone to do that's in doing any kind of direct mail. So awesome. I think this has got all the questions covered tomorrow. We are going to cover um, we're going to get into the primary solution. So that's going to be some good stuff. Uh, and, and the, it's a, it's a lot trickier than it sounds. So tomorrow I'm going to give you a little bit of a preview here. Let me see. I can I do the preview here. Let me second. I got to show my screen. My bad. Um, so yeah, tomorrow getting into the one solution and this is what we're going to go through pattern spy, positive hook, what to do next, only three steps, but it's an important three steps. I'll come back over here. And awesome, go back to solo. And just guys, don't, don't forget, you can always follow me by hit, type and join me into the chat and email Coffee Pro. JohnBenson.com forward slash email if you really want this kick ass stuff for yourself. I want you to have it. Um, oh, I'm sorry, kick booty, kick tail. Yeah, from what I hear, Facebook has become um, the handmaid's tail for all things broadcasting. So thank you, Facebook, for censoring people for saying naughty words. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I just pissed off my entire career at this point because I got through the whole thing without saying anything bad. They're like, please don't swear for one time and we can actually promote something. But yeah, you can edit it out at the end of it. All right, guys, hey, I love being with you guys. Thanks so much for showing up. Thank you, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I, I have to fin finish with this one. I know it's not a racial term. I was totally kidding, man. I totally get it. I've never heard that though, though before. So Leanne taught me something I didn't know. Thanks a lot for showing up. I will see you tomorrow at 1130. Oh, sorry. 11, I did that yesterday too. 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we will go into step three of the $50 million sales letter blueprint. See you guys tomorrow.